Hi, this is Pam from Hooked on Sewing. In this video tutorial, let's learn how to clean our sewing machine. And first, we'll take a look at the supplies that you will need. Of course, you'll need your sewing machine, but you will also need some sewing machine oil. I also have this small tube that came with my sewing machine that is filled with oil, and I will be using it today to oil my machine. And you will also need a lint brush. If you don't have a lint brush, you can use a soft bristled uh, paint brush. You'll need a screwdriver. It depends on what came with your uh, sewing machine and where your screws are located is the type of screwdriver that you'll need. And I also find that some tweezers come in handy. And you'll need a very slightly damp paper towel and maybe some clean, dry paper towels and water to damp your paper towel with. You'll also need some scrap fabric. And maybe most importantly, you'll need the instruction book or the manual that came with your sewing machine. If you don't have your manual, you can find them online and download it um, through the manufacturer's website. I have a few links on my blog to some of the most common uh, sewing machine manuals. So the first thing we're going to do is to take our damp cloth and wipe off the exterior of the sewing machine. So you can remove any big pieces of lint that you see and then just take your damp cloth and wipe it off. You really get down in all the little nooks and crannies with your lint brush. In this case I'm using a soft bristled paint brush and my machine has a a holder for the different feet that come with the machine. So I'm going to take all those out so I can clean down inside there. And then just continue to use my paintbrush or lint brush to clean all the crevices in the top of the sewing machine. And then when I pick up some lint with my uh, lint brush or my paint brush, I'll just pull off those pieces of lint and dust with my other hand and discard those. So again, I will just keep dusting with my paint brush until I feel like I've gotten all the surfaces touched up. And then because it does kind of spread some dust, I will go back over with my damp cloth and wipe off the exterior of my sewing machine. <clears throat> Again, wiping off all the little nooks and crannies to remove any dust and lint. Although I keep a cover on my sewing machine when I'm not using it, just the act of sewing creates enough dust and lint that it does require that you kind of wipe it off now and then. So continue to wipe off the front of my machine, the side, um, the arm, the neck, just using my damp cloth. So now I'm going to remove the little cover for my where my bobbin goes. And I'm keeping all my parts in the lid of this dish um, just to keep everything together and from being misplaced. I'll remove the bobbin. I'm going to take off the arm and wipe that off. Remove the presser foot. I'll get my screwdriver here to finish removing the presser foot. Um, the arm and then I'm going to remove the sewing needle. So just slightly loosen that screw that's holding the needle in, pull out that needle and I'm just going to discard that needle because I will replace it with a new needle. Use my lint brush to get off any lint that's collected around there, the top of the feed dogs and then I'm going to remove the needle plate, dust it off, And then you can see there's quite a bit of lint. Even though I recently just cleaned this sewing machine probably a couple of weeks ago, 
um, but I've been really busy sewing, so I've got a collect nice collection of lint in here. I just keep wiping it up, pulling it off my lint brush and discarding it as I go. So I'm just kind of lightly dabbing around and brushing around. I'm not really forcing this lint brush down into my machine, just anywhere that I could see these little nooks and crannies and that I can see visible signs of lint and dust. And then down in the hook area, I will remove the holder for the bobbin and I will also use my lint brush to clean around there. In the very center of this hook area, where the, which is where the bobbin goes, um, there is in the middle of that white, in the middle of that metal ring, I'll show you here in a minute, there is a little, little filter that kind of looks like lint, but don't be confused and think that it is and try to pull it out of there because it's not. It is a part of the sewing machine. It needs to stay in there and that's where we will add a drop of oil. Again, I have the Janome MemoryCraft 8200 QCP sewing machine, and that's what I'm demonstrating how to clean the sewing machine with. You, your machine may be different, and you may have a front load bobbin, but essentially you're going to do the same, go through the same steps, wipe off the exterior of the machine, uh, remove any lint, and then work your way down into the bobbin area. And here we have one drop of oil and you could see it has like a little air bubble in it it'll just kind of pop here in a second and then using my tweezers I'm going to remove any other lint that I see down in there and there's the air bubble it went and that's telling me that I didn't overfill my machine and that it is uh, properly oiled so now I'm going to put the <clears throat> hook case back in and mine has a little arrow on it that's kind of hard to see right there that lines up with the red arrow on the machine itself right here so that's how I line that up and then I will put the needle plate back on mine just lines up and push down on it you may have some screws that you have to remove to take off your needle plate and then the lid just slides back in Then I'm going to put my presser foot back on and put on a brand new um, sewing needle. Now when you tighten these, you want to push more with your screwdriver than you do turn. So push it in and turn to tighten. So I'll get my sewing needle lined up. I'll finger tighten the screw, take my screwdriver and finish tightening it up. And now I'm going to turn the knob back and forth a few times. So I went ahead and I plugged my sewing machine back in and turned it on. And I'm just going to take the hand wheel without taking my hand off of the hand wheel and kind of move it back and forth a few times. That helps to lubricate the machine. Then I'm going to go ahead and thread my machine and take my scrap fabric and sew a few rows of stitches and again, this will help to lubricate the machine after I put that drop of oil in there. And it will also help collect any excess oil if there was any. So I'll just take my scrap fabric and sew back and forth a few times. Just to help get the oil, the machine really lubricated in that area. And then that's it. I'll put everything back together and my sewing machine will be good for probably another month until I clean it again. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you found this helpful. And please come visit me over on hookedonsewing.com. Thank you.